I remember having these fundraisers at my school and, you know, these like girls would walk in and they'd be like, Oh, can you donate a dollar to, you know, help the starving children? Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, they were testing my patience, okay? Now, in a similar way, you can test your Roblox game before it's even out, right? And this test bar, so, you know, home model avatar test, this is for you. I know it seems like a lot, but it's it's really not that much, okay? Let's start with the, with the, the basic one, which is this button, right? Now, this button is available in home as well and in here um but what this does is play will basically just you know play the game as normal it plays the game as the game would play when you're you know like actually playing the game as as just a default player so it spawns you you know at the proper spawn location and yeah just lets you play the game um then play here so play here will spawn your character wherever the camera is in the workspace so play here will not spawn my character at the spawn location It'll spawn my character where my camera was. And then run will not spawn the character at all. Run will just, you know, it'll run the game, it'll run the script, but my character will not spawn and I'll still be a camera that can observe what's going on. Like my like my video on Astral Projection, okay, which you check that out right now. You may also see these pause, resume, and stop buttons, okay? Oh yeah, and this one, current client, which I'll explain in a bit. Pause just pauses the game, it pauses the rendering, and then resume resumes it. Fairly simple. Stop stops it, right? Uh, what current client is, is um, client is you. It's your player, right? And server is basically like, you know, you go back to that, you know, fr freeform camera view and you, you, like, instead of seeing the game from a player's perspective, you see it from the perspective of just the server, right? So I have a whole video on it. It's like, it's like some clickbait title about like, oh, Roblox game exploit. So, you know, go, go check that out if you're interested. But yeah, you know, stop. The next feature is this. Now, I actually, I will not press this because if I press this, it's going to start reloading my whole Roblox and it's going to start opening up windows. But in short, what you do is you select local server and you select the amount of players that you want to test. And what's what's going to happen is that you're going to press start. It's going to open up a new window of, Ro of Roblox Studio, like same game and everything, which will act as the server. And then after doing that, it will open up the, however amounts of windows um, like, 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 so if, if, if I have four players selected, then it's going to open up four windows and each window is going to be a player, right? So if I select, let's say if I want to, if I want to simulate a server with seven players and I press start, it's going to open up one, like, it's going to open up another window for, to be the server. And then it's going to open up seven new windows and each of those windows will be a different player, right? And they're going to be all named accordingly. So one of them is going to be named player. Then it's going to be like player two then like player three, right? And when you're done, simply go to your, back to your main window and press cleanup. And what cleanup does is it just removes, you know, all of the, the windows and just stops the server. Um, so this is pretty cool when you need to test like how the game would run with different players, right? Device, fairly simple, iPhone 14 Pro, Xiaomi, Redmi, Note, nah, I don't, I don't even, iPhone XR, yeah. So this basically just shows you um, how different devices will view your game. And if you if you had like user interface on here, it's going to show you that as well. Yeah, there we go. If anyone's playing your game on a PS4, by the way, you can you can also see that. Uh, fits a window, actual resolution, physical size. Ugh, I don't even know. My, my laptop is like glitching out. Do fit to window usually. Fits a window will just let you see everything. Um, but then, yeah, once you're done, just, you know, click click off. A uh, player will allow you to play as a test player. So it'll, it, it's going to allow you to like create your own profile, right? So basically here you can detect uh, the, you know, enable test profile. Here you can detect, you know, where, um, I believe, I believe the language that the player is using. You can, you know, detect the region of the player or not detect, sorry, I'm, I'm saying detect, I don't know why. It's like you can set the, the region. So you can, you can set the localization, you know, language. You can set the region for this test player. You can set whether ads are allowed, set whether, you know, this is allowed, whether this is true, whether this is true, and then allowed external link references. So whether this player can see these external links, right? And then if you enable this, then the next time you play the game, well, then it's going to, you know, the player is going to see things as um, this. So for example, if I, if I say Russian here, yeah, if I say Russian, and then if I, if I play the game, then I believe I will see things in Russian. I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so as you can see, because I set the language to my test profile to Russian, now all of these are in Russian, right? Um, and obviously, if you want to turn this off, just, you know, turn this off. And what mute does is simply, if you, whenever you actually play the game, it's going to, like, mute all of the sounds, right? So, so like, if, if you don't want to, if you have, like, some, you know, like, music playing whenever you, the player plays the game, and it's getting annoying, you can just mute, and it's going to just turn off every single sound. So, yeah, you know, that's basically it. Um, home model avatar test. Again, you know, play around with these, you know, kind of understand how they fit your game. Uh, check out the comment section and the description for my courses and, you know, maybe the Discord server. And yeah, we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.